Hello and welcome back everybody. This uh, next video that I'm putting together is going to talk through making updates and um, just overall um, kind of improving, if you will, on an action figure that's already put together. So um, if you followed the last journey, I painted some 3D printed pieces and parts for an action figure. But uh, some folks have asked, okay, could you start with a figure that's already put together? And I just really want to, you know, just give it a totally refreshed look or um, defreshed, if you will. So, like, um, I've got Ned B here with me. And this is uh, a Star Wars Black Series figure that, out of the box, um, he was super clean. And I wanted to give him a much dirtier, grungier, used look, um, is what, so what you're seeing here. So let me flip him over and you can see some of the, uh, some of the distressing and a lot of areas of where, um, looks like either oil or dirt or grime has, uh, recessed there and given him a, a much different look as compared to how we came out of the box. So, um, again, this isn't a major drastic look, but it's one in which uh, is really fun. And as a painter, um, sometimes it presents an opportunity to take a figure that we otherwise wouldn't be too excited about and make it exciting. So I've got a... Um, Mattel Alpha Class Darby Steel from the movie Lightyear. Um, I'm not going to discuss the film, whether you like it or not like it, but the figure itself here is really fun. I've got the 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 uh, the Lightyear figure, and um, maybe I'll do a different a different video with that and some some fun things. But looking at the sculpt here, this is this is not a bad figure, and you can kind of you know, get into a lot of things as far as, you know, whether you want this to, to, to fit in with maybe like a, your Halo figures, or you want this to be a uh, figure that um that you would want to put like with uh, with those Star Wars figures. So let's uh, get into this here. I picked this up at uh forget exactly where I got this. I want to say it was like a Ross's or a, a Burlington coat factory kind of thing. So here it comes here and just uh, grab this uh, figure out of the box. Alright, so there we go. Um, and I do recommend that anytime you're going to be painting over a figure to just get familiar with points of articulation and kind of how the figure moves, um, how if, it, you know, okay, we're dealing with a softer plastic up here on the, on the pauldrons um, and knowing how far the wrist, and obviously th this guy is moving really nice, just straight out of the package, but um, as always, any time that you're getting a figure out and it feels tight, hit it with some hot water or a hair dryer. So I'm going to also pop out the, uh, the weapons here just to get a feel for them. And I see there's also a uh, helmet. Um, I'm not really familiar with, with these figures. So um, you know what? Just real quickly, see if this just pop. No, there's all right. You can see there's a, a point here where we can actually take the head off. Which, when I'm before I get painting, definitely be taking the head off so as to not make any accidents. Um, and also, for well, take it off camera here real quick. All right, uh, you know, if I I'm going to be doing all of these greens with a wash treatment or a contrast or a shade, then I'd definitely be wanting to make the helmet match and tie in. So 
um, get, get familiar just in, in, in your hand with the piece that you want to paint. And, um, and then I do recommend also spending some time looking at it. Now, from the time of purchase, I already kind of knew what I was wanting to do. But, but, if, but if that's not you and you're new to this, just take a look at the figure and start thinking about kind of what scheme you want to go with. So I will close this one out and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.